a business app yourself in your company's environment. So like now, let's say you need to do, there's always a request form in the office. And let's say you have to take um, your, your line manager have to sign, then another person have to sign before everything is accepted. Let's say that request. You can build, instead for paper, a whole lot of papers, then you take the paper, they sign, you go to the next person, you sign. So if the person is not around, you can't sign. Abi, that's how it is. Then before you now do whatever that request is, you can build a power hub whereby the person log in, do the request. When the person clicks submit, it goes to the first person. The first person see it and say, okay, sign, acknowledge. It goes to the second person, which is the main memory boss. The, first, the main boss says, oh, okay, sign, acknowledge. Or if you need some clarification from the request, you can send it back to the person who really requested that form. Then when it's done, it takes it back and submits. And at the end of the day, everything is done in space of how many minutes? Three minutes. Power apps. You yes, can from this. Yes, okay, let me show you. So let me just show you. Is this the one that is the flow? No, no, no. No. One replace flow is the next one. I am coming there. So let me show you some things. So power apps. So it's internet based. And it's free too. And it's free too. <laughs> but you have to be inside your tenants now, your Microsoft tenants. You have to be inside your, your Microsoft tenants. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now Power BI, you can download it on Google. But this one, you can't download Power App like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to be inside Microsoft. But there has been a way so whereby people can learn it without having it. So next month, I'm going, I'm going to look for that information and I'll drop it here. Next month, I'll drop it here, but let me just see. So now, this is it. So any app you want to build, so let's imagine, so I'm be trying to build some applications here, so that we are seeing here. So now, let's assume that you want to build something, and you have a list of, let's say, a list of people even we can build, do something like attendance sheets. So you have a list in company. Now you want to know when they come in and when they go out. It's just a simple app. So as they are trying to just fill in it, it's just going to your power apps that you are building. So let's say an Excel file. You have from an Excel file or SharePoint. You, you guys know all these things. So you can just build an app from there. And when you are done building an app, you can just put it out and from there, you can notice this environment, deep brand environment. So if you have, your company has Microsoft now, so you just have your own environment that you build your applications there. That is just it. So you can, okay, your question. Well, that shows that the other person that you're sending it to us have the same application. Since it's inside your company's environment, when you publish it, everybody will see it. So they will have it. So you have to have a business account. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You have to have a business account, business Microsoft account. So this is it. So, okay, your question. Your power BI, so just about automation. This, yeah. these are about apps, apps. not automation. So apps. Okay, apps uh, this is from, like, phone. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you just, you, just, you just get it from your phone and you get an app. Exactly. Yes. Power platform. Okay. Thank you. So yeah. if you actually have a Microsoft uh, operating system or not just like uh, with Microsoft uh, web browser, mm -hmm. uh, Microsoft, uh, what do they call their environment? Their marketplace. Yes. So you can you can get it from even norm, normally. There are no apps that will be useful for Microsoft uh, So, no, no, no. Not Microsoft, everybody Microsoft. Like now, if I want to develop an app now, the app will have to be used for Debra. 
No, I know because we have a business account. So it's still it's like uh, Apple. Yeah. It's restricted this thing. Exactly. Uh, yes. 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 So this app is not restricted to Microsoft Chrome. Can I use it on Android? Yeah, but it's still inside Microsoft. Yeah. It's still inside Microsoft. So they are tying it to their own. Whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, this is Power Apps building business applications. Building business applications. That is Power Apps. Now, the next one that we want to do, we are talking about, is Power Automate, which my boss was saying, if it replaces Microsoft Flow. So yes. So Microsoft Flow. What we do with Microsoft Flow is this: automation. 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 Just think automation. You are thinking power automate. So what is automation? Think of something that you do in a repeat mode in the office. You can do it with power automate. Like me now, I have a power automate on my own email. I can even do it. As far as Microsoft. You know, Outlook 2 is Microsoft. So I say for every mail that comes in that has attachment, is you send it to a folder. So it goes to one particular folder in my, fo in my laptop for every email that comes with an attachment. So it just goes straight. The attachment goes straight. So I don't go to my Outlook to be looking for what? Attachment. It just dumps on that folder. And there are so many ones that you can even play with, actually. So let me show you one. Sorry, but just to be clear, those apps, those are separate automates. Eh? Yes, yes. You can actually merge. separate power automation and power apps. This is an application. Okay. When you are building an application, you can use power automate in it. Oh. You understand? So like that person now that wants to do a, a, a request form, that is doing a request form that I, I used an example. You can create an automation tool with it. Whenever the person sends, if you send an email to this, send an email to that. So that is how you can do it. Don't worry, next year we are going to be building apps. Don't worry. So if you are looking to automate your processes, your business processes, you do that with Power Automate. So I'm trying, yeah, yeah, now see this. We call it Flow before. It's called Microsoft Flow. So but now, we change it now to what we call the Power Automate. So see my, let me just say template. Let me just show you the template. So from template, you can really see it. You don't, sometimes you don't need to create yours. You might see everything in templates. So see this simple one. Save Office 365 email attachment to what? OneDrive for what? Business. You can use that template. There are so many templates. Look at Power Apps button. Anything that you really want to do, all of them are actually working to, together. Send a customized email when a new file is added. Maybe you're trying to create something, and you know that when a file is added, you want an email to be sent to somebody. Anything, send form responses for approval. You can merge automation together with what? Power apps. And I will now tell you how you can take all of them back to Power BI to analyze. So, this is another part of the power platform that we call it. This power automate. So anything you want to do, you can do them here. Trigger a flow with Power BI, data driven alert. So do you now see how all of them are entering inside each other? So that is how you can actually work with it. Anything that you want to do, anything that you want to do, you can create it here. This power automation. This power automation. Now, power virtual agent, 
was now giving a general, it was not generally available as a last month. So I've not really touched much on it. Was it last month? No, this month. Early this month. Good Early this month. So now, what is Power Virtual Agent? Do you notice if you open a website, a new a website, you're going to do a website, you're going to see a chat booth by the right hand side that wants to chat you up. That is Power Virtual Agent. So you want to create a chat booth. Yeah, exactly. So if you feel you, you need, because of your sales, CRM, guys in sales team, you need to create a chat board to help you explain to customers or anything like that, Power Virtual Agent is used. So this is for application, this is for automation, this is for chat board, and this is for what? Analytics. And power BI and, and power and power they are the same thing. No, 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 no. Automation is trying to see the automation. This is not creating app at all. This is just automation. This is automation process. You're just automating the process. No, 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 no. Power automate is practically different. So let me, let me see something for you. Let me just do something here. Yeah. I've created one, but let me just see. See, send myself a reminder in 10 minutes. Let me just use this. This is not an app at all. So flow and delay. OK, cool. Now, I create a flow. This is not creating app now. Do you see create a flow? So now, immediately, your flow hasn't run yet. So now, what I'm trying to tell you that give me a reminder in what? 10 minutes. So now, look at my flows here. I have edited it. So let me go to edit. See it. When I trigger a flow, if I click it, I want to add an input. Any input I want to add, yeah, I can add it. Yeah, email, text, what type of thing did I want it to send to me? Then I click delay, how many minutes? You said how many minutes? 10 minutes. Are you getting sent? Do you see this is not an app? This is just a process that I'm trying to automate. If I'm done with it, I edit the things I want to edit, I click save. I am done. So the next 10 minutes, I should expect a what? A reminder. Simple. It's totally different from this guy. Okay. This guy wants me to create an app, I don't want to. <laughs> So, okay, so if you want to create an app, you should have a data set somewhere. Hmm? So when you have a data set somewhere, you're just dumping it, you're bringing it in. When you're bringing it in, you're just trying to create something for you. And to help you create it with low code application, we call it low code. And maybe you have heard that word, maybe on Twitter too. Low code apps. That is what we call the power apps. Low code apps. Whereby you don't need to become a software developer to be able to create it. What about data security? Security there too. Even they just even created a white paper as I yesterday that explains everything on security of power apps. Everything on security of power apps. Everything on security on power apps. So don't worry, next year itself we'll be diving a lot into this part. We'll be diving a lot into this part. So it's fun next year. So According to what you see, your head will burst. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, you will survive it. <laughs> okay, so now let's go back to Power BI. Now, remember I said something that, remember I said that all these things still comes down to if you want to analyze with the Power BI itself. Now, when you go to, let me go to O. I you see get data here. If I click get data here, and I go back to more, let me show you something here. Now, can you see Power Platform? Yeah. So now, Power Platform is new here. Before it was, it was just two. This three here, they added the Power Platform data flows. Anything from these three guys here, you can analyze it down 
the air. So from power app, power automate, power virtual agents, you want to analyze in power BI, you can click here, you go and connect to any of the flow that you have in power apps, in power, in power automate or virtual agents that you analyze. Imagine you want to analyze how many customers did chat with you concerning these so -so products. You can analyze it. So do you now understand how it's now a platform on its own, but divided into four? There are some people I met, as I last month I went for a conference for the Power Apps with Microsoft. So there are some people who know only Power Apps. They know only Power Apps, they don't know Power BI. They are good with Power Apps. I was surprised. They were good with Power Apps. Nigerian guys, good with Power Apps. You have seen the picture now. You have seen the picture. Yeah. You have seen the picture. They are good with Power Apps, but they are not good with Power BI. So you will see some people good with Power BI, but not good with others. You understand? But it's a better process. It will get to a point where people can now become a power platform expert on, the, on their own. On their own. So that is how you move. And that is how we move. And we move like that. So this is just introduction to how the power platform, why like we do live lab every month, and how you can really gain a whole lot. And I used to tell people when I train people, I tell them that you should not always work because, oh, I want to be understanding Power BI based on since I'm a banker, this type of data is what I should get used to. No, when you come out into live lab, you see a whole lot of different type of data that gets you into different type of environments of Power BI that you've not even what you've not touched. Same way with Excel. Why is somebody doing Excel? Like, where did you go to to get this one? That is how Power BI is. That is how Power BI is. And they update every month. This new month is one I've showed you, whereby we can remove this word, filter. It was just done two days ago. Was it two days ago? Yeah, yeah two days ago. I can remove this filter, it was just two days ago. Now also, you know that we can remove visualization that we don't need. When I take this, I can unpin this visual, and it leaves. If I click OK, it's supposed to leave. So you can, have you, do you notice it? I don't want it. So it's now here. If I want to take it back, I can pin it back to my custom visuals. So if you want to update your power, you have to go and download the game. Okay, so now there are two ways for you to update. For you to update your, but, so now if you go to Google, one is supposed to take you to Play Store your Play Store, then it's updates. Yeah, your Play Store. Have you got Play Store? Market. Yes, Marketplace, then it's update. Then the second one is the one that you have to now download. Whether you download like in 428, something like that, then you now install. That is the second one that you do. And that one is what you do every month, that you have to be we downloading, we downloading, we downloading, and like that. So it's kind of stressful. But Play Store, for the one of Microsoft Marketplace, it's updated automatically for you. Updated automatically for you. So, but another thing is this: there are some updates that you will do that you it won't just work immediately. This is where you should always go to when you notice that there's a new update and it didn't work immediately. You go to File, you go to Options, you go to Option again. Do you see this preview feature here? Yeah. Always go there and tick. File, options, options again. You are going to see preview settings, preview features. Then you just tick majorly all of them. If now you want to do Spanish language support, you can stick it to. <laughs> can just stick it to. Okay. So now, in the next 30 minutes, what we want to talk about is data modeling. Before we go for our tea break, data modeling. The one we've done, when we come back, we'll do another aspect. Data modeling. Now, do everybody have this data? Have you downloaded the data? 
from Power BI user group, you see the data from Power BI user group. Yeah. The way we do it monthly. So just open the file. You don't have data. Um, Power BI user group, Lagos. Connect, connect now. Internet, internet. Then you download it. Try, try. Connect it to internet. Connect your laptop to internet and download. Yeah, or my personal laptop. Your personal. So just try. And okay. Yeah, let me write it for you. So you go to Power BI user group, Lagos. You will see it there. Power BI user group, Lagos. Okay, there. Dot com slash Lagos. So you do when you. When you enter there, you are going to see December, December um, files. The, the simplest form in Power BI is actually the visualization. The simplest is visualization. Ask anybody who use Power BI. Visualization is pam, 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 pam. But when we want to talk about the hardest, is here. Yeah. If you miss this one, your DAX too is wrong. So if you like no DAX, if you miss this, your DAX too is wrong. So DAX is what we call the data analytic expression. It's like is a coding coding language for Power BI. Our language, Power BI language is DAX. But this is very, very important when it comes to analytics. Power BI analytics. So now, relationship that are built here determines what we see here. Relationship that are built here determines what we see in our report view. If your relationship is wrong, what is there will be wrong. So now there are some things that you have to get right here and that people miss. There are people miss. You have to get it right. So what is the first one? We call it, um, in Power BI, we call it the star schema. Yeah, star schema. Now, this is it. Now, this is how it works. So you have this. Data modeling, two things must connect. The fact file and the dimension files. Best practice, the fact file and the dimension file. Fact file is the file that builds every day, every month, every week. Remember those your sales reports you collect every day. Those your sales reports you collect every month. All those ones are fact files. They build, they increase. But our dimension, we call it kind of like categories of imputes. Oh, I want to see the sales report by different regions. Regions are dimensions. Oh, I want to see a sales report by all customers. The customer customer information are what? Dimension. It's just like a category. You know in pivot table now what we used to do? You know pivot table is two things. Either your values or your categories. You are ticking. Values, categories. Your categories always go to your role and column or filter. And your values will always go to values. So that is just how it works. So dimensions are the things that give concept to your analytics. So I say, Abu David bought laptop for 30,000 naira. Now, Abu David, Al David, Abu, Samuel, all those ones are just dimension of what? What we call names, customer names, customer ID. Those are dimensions. But fact file is what we call the combination of this dimension 
and their value. Combination of dimensions and what? Values. Remember that your sales report will not be a report if there's no value attached to it. Your timetable or the time that people come in, what do we call that name now? I think that's sheet. Yes, login. The login sheet. It will not be an information or a fact file if you don't have the time they came in. If you don't have any names, I don't know when they came in. You can't, be, you can't build on it. It's not a fact file. It's just a dimension of name. But when you begin to have, whether you have the time for Monday, you have when they come, came in, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, then you notice that it becomes a fact file because it's what? Building. That is it. So you need to understand those two things first. And that is why in our um, power query, in our power query, if you go to our power query, if you go to our power query, I don't want you to go there because you have so many things that have been, okay, let's go. So I want you to see something. But let me start from there too. Go to transform data, you click, look up, you see transform data, click it. Transform data, edit queries, okay, edit queries. For those who are not using the most recent one, you are going to see edit queries. For people like us that are using the G-Wagons, G use transform data. Is this edit queries which one? Yes, just click it. Is it the new one or the old one? It's old one, old one, old one. <laughs> eh? You are muted now? Yes. Do that stuff I said you should do those options and look at it if it was being ticked. Yes, don't worry. I see it. Don't worry. Now, if you go there, did you have something like this for yours? Like this. If you don't have, it means that the data itself, you've not connected to your data itself. So that one is something I would do for you uh, when we're doing um, lunch break. That one is just simple. For those who have been coming every month, you know how we used to do it now. You go to your source and connect to the file, then you are fine. Go to source, connect to the file. Population, you have your data for population that you've downloaded already. You see population, they connect to it, you have this. Now, see, population is a fact file because you have population for different year. I mean, you have life expectancy for different years too. Same thing, life expectancy for different year. So I think I need to use my, sorry, where's my mouse? Okay, so life expectancy for different years, you have it. Now, if you look at your income, income too goes the same way too. When you, if I click income, the same thing, the same countries, information like that, like that, and it comes like that. Now you now have countries and continents, but poverty, same thing. So all these things are the ones that will begin in different, different months in our live labs. For those who have been coming since August, you see it. Now we now have literacy also, literacy. But what we now did is this. Since all of them are actually the same kind of sets, we have country indicator name. Indicator name is literacy. If you see, if I go to poverty, you see poverty there. Indicator name, poverty. The year, the values, and the what? The date. Now, what we just did there was to combine everything. Who can remember the way we combined them? For those of you who used to come every month, how did we combine one, two, three, four, five into fact file? Append. Thank you. Append queries. So there's something called append queries up there. So can somebody tell us what is different between append queries and match queries? Down, merge is to the uh, is adding columns, then one is down, so that is it. So now we used append queries and everything comes here. So all this become one file, a fact file. So what we now did is this, we now say that, see, you these guys, don't load to Power BI anymore because you are, you are already here, so don't load. So we remove the enable load and it becomes this. So this is what we did here. You come here, right click. Do you see enable load? There's something to be ticked here, but I didn't remove it. So it doesn't go straight to what? Power BI. So that's what we just did. So now, since we have fact file, we now say 
that is our factor. But how do we get dimension that will make us to be able to create a data model? Now, look at this here. We have countries. It means that for us to be able to create a dimension, we have to go and look for a database that have only what? Countries. Then we'll now connect it to the fact file that is country also. That is where we can build relationship. This. This guy here, countries. So that is where we now went again to Google and say, okay, can we get countries and what? Continents. This is it. We have all the whole countries and continents. But the number one rule you should always understand in data modeling is that your dimension file must be unique. It must not be repeated. Remember that in our fact file, it's building every time. So you always see Afghanistan coming one million times. You have so many countries there. So let's go to this. You will see them here. Can you see? These are all the countries inside this data here. All. These are all the countries. Now, but we now said that for dimension, it is not building. It's not increasing. It has to be unique. If it's not unique, it will become a problem when building our what? Data model. So we now went and said, okay, fine. Let's get the name of our countries and continents. Countries and continents. And this is where our dimension file came in from. So we now know that fact file and what? Dimension file. Then that is how we went back to what? Power BI. So you just click close and what? Apply. Now we're here. Yeah. Then is there as well as it? Okay, don't worry. It's just the same thing that we did now. The data itself. Go back to the source. Go to source. You see source in your apply step. Check your apply step. Yes. Then click it. Go and connect your source from your data set itself. You know what you downloaded now? Your population. Dump it there. That we've done it before. You forgot. <laughs> don't worry, we will do it, don't worry. When you are done with poverty and literacy, fact file will be cleaned. Don't worry, when you are done with poverty and literacy, fact file will be cleaned. Yeah, good job. Okay, so now notice our fact file. Do you now see our countries and continents here? Now, do you see this date? Somebody will now ask, why are we having a date? Why should we have a date? So simple. You remember that we are doing it. Now, remember that we have an analysis that we are doing for over 40 years, from 1980s. If you can see the dates, you see it. We are doing from 1980s. We are doing a time series analysis. It means that we will need to have a what? A date what? Calendar. Most of the time in your analysis, you always have date calendar. Because you want to see a report that has to do month by month. You know the OECD now is month on month analysis, year on year analysis, time series, year to date, all those things that we should do. Sales last month, sales previous month, sales last year, all those things that we should do. So you need to have a date data. And that's what we did here. So how did you do that? You come here, it's just a simple function that we did in our date. So maybe if you want to write it down, this is it. Date, calendar auto, open bracket, close bracket 12. Go to your data view. Make sure you are clicking on date. You are going to see it there. This is the function that we did here. So we went to, we just created a DAX formula here to give us a data of calendar. So what we that calendar auto do is this. Calendar auto will go and look at your data and look at the first tier of your data. Then from there, it's going to create a date. So you're not repeating it. Even when you get to the end, immediately you know that you're going to another year, it's going to create another word, calendar for you. So you're not repeating it at all. So calendar, that calendar auto, I will not touch it again. So that's one of the benefits. There's another one called calendar. 
But that can end our own. You have to now specify what the start period and the end period. That is it. But calendar auto is an upgraded level of calendar. Calendar auto. It just automates that process for you. You get it? So this is it. So from here, I can also create. I can say, oh, I want to create month. I want to create week. I want to create all those ones if I want to. The way we do it in Excel. Equals to text, all those things that we do. Yeah, so that is just it. So now, let's now go back here. Model. The first thing I said is this. You need to know your fact file, which builds every time. They need to know your dimension, which is what's unique. If it's not unique, it becomes a problem. Now, the last thing I want to say here for the best part is this place. When you double click here, can you see this line? Everybody, check your screen. Can you see this line? Country name is connecting to one. Country name. Now come here. Date is connecting to one. If they are not connecting to the main thing they should connect to, it becomes a problem. Now, I want you to see to check something. Double, if I double click here. Yeah, this is where I'll finish up. The lines, when you double click, can you see our fact file? Can you see country and continent? If I click here, you see which one is graded? Country name is graded. Country name to here is graded. Abrenda is talking to Abrenda, but see what the cardinality is saying here. Many to what? Many to one. What is the meaning of many? What do you think our many will be? Fact file or, co or countries and continent? Fact file, many. Fact file, many. To one, which is what? Countries and what? Continent. What is the meaning of many? Many is this. Let me give you a simple explanation of many to one. I have a son in a school, and I have to be paying school fees every term. So if I'm paying every term, I'm paying first term, second term, third term. Then the person promotes to another class, I'm still paying. Now notice, if the proprietor wants to do analysis, he's going to say, how many times did Mr. A pay for his son? The many, to many, many, many becomes the what? The fact, fact, because I'm coming back, coming back. So you're going to be having a database that says Mr. A pay first term, pay second term, pay third term, that is many. One is the school that is receiving it. So it's just one. The child, one. You're just collecting it, collecting it, collecting it. So your fact file is many. It's repeating most of the time. The time that you're in your data, that your dimension of two Afghanistan becomes no. You see a yellow big line that is telling you many to many cardinality. You see one long sentence like that. Then you have to clean it up. Exactly. Now, if you have more than one child, you always notice that even in Asia, Asia has more than one country. It doesn't change it. But the lowest, the, we call something the lowest granality in Power BI that says that, so if you are looking at our country, we have state and we have local government. Our state, Lagos state, has different local governments. So we are looking at our lowest reality. Our lowest reality is which one? The local government. The local government is our lowest reality. So now, if, you're, if I'm paying for my child, the child itself is not my local. Uh, which one is our lowest reality now? The what? The child or the children. So since you want to build on it, when you say, oh, who paid for this type of child is still the same father. Who pay for this child of child is still the same father. Who pay for this time? So if you want to group them, you are grouping them together in the first place. Because you are doing the same Sunday. Are you getting it? So if you have to be to one or many to many. That is see it, see it. The each of the child itself is just like this okay, so Africa. Let's use Africa. Africa we have Nigeria, Ghana, Sierra Leone. Those are the children, but it's still Africa. Abi? Now, if they are connecting here, which is many, yeah, you'll be having so, so many of Africa. 
Yeah. You be having if that we have um, this thing here, continents here too. Same thing that will still happen. Because I'm we'll be talking to Asia, so we will be talking to Africa, the children will still be talking to their fathers. It still doesn't change. The lowest one must connect to the lowest. The lowest must connect to the lowest. Always remember that. Our lowest one here is what? Country name. The lowest one here is what? If you have a customer ID and you have a customer name, which one do you think should be our lowest? Customer ID. Customer ID. Because customer name, it can be repeated twice and different people. But the ID is always the different. So it's always unique. So now, if I'm building a relationship, I will have to build it with the customer ID. So the customer ID of our fact file, you're going to be having customer ID, customer name, sales, region, what is the sales price, something like that. In this page, you're going to have all your staff list that have the customer ID and the word customer, let's say, name. Then when you create relationship, you're still creating it repeated, and one is what? Unique. Always remember, this has to be repeated. This has to be what? Unique. Then it becomes our many to one. But there are different levels here also. If I click this job down here, yeah, I know that we have to go for a tea break now. A bit too hard. Thanks. So please clap your hands for Tiwa. Tiwa is the one that is taking, is the project lead. Is our project lead. If she tell me, sack, I'm sacked. <laughs> exactly, she's always busy. <laughs> okay, so many to one is this that we're doing. One to one is whereby we have analysis that our fact file is, is coming just one time and our dimension is coming how many times? One. Then one to many, it doesn't really happen much of the time. These are kind of advanced, advanced level most of the time. I've really not seen any project that is bringing these two, that working with these two. That has always been the first two. Yeah. So many to one is whereby your fact file is one and your di uh, dimension is coming many times. I've not seen it. The many to many is where both of them are coming multiple times. Now, Sorry. yeah. Um, this many to one. Yeah. Is it that it comes automatically or you have to like choose? Okay, so most of the time it comes automatically by default. It's many to one by default. By default, it comes. Uh, the power is down to exact, uh, exactly. Exactly. Even sometimes, power there is, is intelligent enough that when you even dump, immediately you load everything for power query and you dump them yet. It will be relationship for some of them for you. I don't know if you have worked with any data like that. It will build it for you already. Because he has seen it. He has seen it already. He knows your fact file and your dimension even before you are bringing it. So when he dumps it, he just creates it for you. There's even a place here that says auto relationship, auto detect relationship. Who have used that before? Auto so I'll show you where it is. So this one, make this relationship active. Please, if you are working, this one, make sure it's ticked. If the relationship is not active, your DAX formula won't work. It won't work. Even when you are clicking, it won't work because it's not active. How do you know if it's not active? Let me close this. Do you see this line? It's because, do you see how straight it is? Straight. But if it's not active, you will see notice that it is broken. So let me see. Who notice? Can you see the differences now? One is active, one is not active. So when you're creating relationship, it becomes usual. Yeah. So you have to note this. Whenever you say anything like this, always remember where you go and click, click it. So you have to make sure it is active. Therefore, it to work with all other ones. These ones, you don't touch this. This has to be single. It's just, it's just by default. It has to be single by default. Then you click your work. Okay. Now. Property. Wale is the one that loves property a lot. So what do we do by, with property? So imagine continent. If I click continent, I use a proper um, continent. So I can use my language. I can change languages on X, um, Power BI. If I want to do Yoruba analysis, I can do Yoruba analysis on Power BI. Yoruba analysis. What would I do? 
I'll just give it synonyms of names. So I don't know what is continent in Yoruba. Something like that. No, Adaye is word. So I'll give it like that and I can just analyze what I want to analyze using different languages. So if you are working with somebody in in French, French guy or something like that, this is a part that you really love to work with. Because the person will be talking with French and you'll be talking with English, so you can analyze your reports that way. So can I use your report that way? Just change from the synonyms aspect, right? Yes, you just change from synonyms aspect. Change from synonyms aspect. So this is property. It just talks about what I click. So if I want to talk about um, country name, same thing. I can work with it. So I can say whenever I the, this part there I see country, you understand I'm talking country. If you see country name, you understand I'm talking country again. So that is how you can work with this. So now, whenever we have in what we call model view, when you are trying to build relationship, one of the best aspects of this place is that it gives you opportunity to understand where and why you are doing your report. The end goal of your report starts from you understanding what your report will look like. If your report will want to look like what way, this is where you understand how you build it. And then at most times, even Wale, wherever it trains, we always say something that always do it in paper first. Always build your model in paper first. When you do it in paper, it's so easy for you to create them here. So, so way easy for you to create them here. So way easy for you to create them here. So that is how you do it in creating your data model. So data model is about relationship. And your relationship means to understand your fact file and your what? Dimension. And you also need to understand your many to what? Many to one. Whereby you are also picking the right things that are connecting to your fact file and to your what? Dimension file. And also, again, making your relationship what? Active. You have to make your relationship active. If it's broken, you cannot work with it. You cannot really work with it. So now, when we come back from tea break, we'll be going into dashboard, building of what? Dashboard. So thank you very much. The one in Power Query. So. If I click on this transform data, some people they have it as edit queries. If I click it, I want to know those who have their data like this. I want to know those who don't have their data like this. That is showing yellow and is telling them that your data is still here. Uh, hey, yeah, raise up your hand. If your data is not like this, raise up your hand. <laughs> so yeah, let me know. Let me know, let me know. Just only one person. Two. Three. Your data, is it like this? <laughs> okay, who are flash? Let me give you the file. The Power BI file. You don't need to download. Okay, you have it already. Okay, okay, okay. So what I want to do is this. In the next 15 minutes, I want to help those who their data is still dirty, clean it up. Then, for the next 30 minutes, for the next 30 minutes, everybody, all your analytics that you need to do, we've done them for the past four or five months that we've been working on this same data. You will now beat visualization. David, I just called David. You will be around by 11.30. He's the judge. So we are building a dashboard, we are doing dashboard competition after this. We are building visualizations. David will screen everybody and we give the gifts for the best. Why are we doing this Power BI? We've been, me and you have been doing Power BI for the past five months. The dashboard is from the visualization you created. From, so everybody see? So we've done some visualizations here already for the past four months coming, coming, coming. But you don't need to delete them. So you can just start from, if you click this plus here, 
then you can build your own visualization. You can't start now. Then you can't start now. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, you explain so many things. Remember the part there is more storytelling. Yes. You are telling the story with power bear. You, you, when, you know that if your power bear, you just give me a report, my boss will always tell you that, why don't you just change it to PDF and send it to me? I will read the report and I will know. But what makes power bear so sweet is that you are using it to tell a what? A story. The best guys with presentation tell stories with data. Watch TED Talks. When they are doing presentation, it is with stories. The best guys, story. So whenever I, we tell people that create visualization, we want you to tell stories. So we have so many data here. We are seeing poverty. If you look at this, your fact file right now, you are seeing this indicator name. Your indicator name, if I click this indicator name, see your, my indicator name here. So let me increase this. I want to just say something from here. Now, all over the world, we are trying to analyze five unique things. We are analyzing income, life expectancy, literacy, population and what? Poverty. There is actually a story that can link all of them together. Because, let me just say one of them. There is no way that literacy will be high in Africa and we will have low poverty rates. I mean, no, no, no. We have high poverty rates. Because literacy has to be, if literacy is low, poverty should be what? High. So if you bring in your data, and your data is telling you a different set of story, then something is wrong. Is wrong. In population, I should be expecting which country should be the highest. Asia. China, Asia. That is how it works. So power is more storytelling and your analytics that you're trying to do. And I used to tell people that Visualization as passed through is not to beautify your report. I don't remember you can remember when I said it. Visualization is not only to beautify your report, it's actually to analyze your report. You know, in, in Excel, when you want to do a report, you do what F1, change it to a chart, that will just interpret that same data. Yeah. But some visualizations here don't do interpretation alone, it analyzes. Let me give you one. Can you see this Q and A, this one here? We call it Q and A. This one, Q and A. So now, if I click this Q and A, and I click it, see what will happen here for me? It has written so many questions that I want to ask my what? My data. So I can just ask, I can just ask it that, like, hey, guy, give me, So give, give me the continent. So let me see a continent with the highest, highest um, literacy. Okay, so it's already giving me option already. Then immediately that I click, when I click enter, it's giving me continent and okay, it's just not giving me anything. I don't know why. So now it explains so many things that you want to do, depending on how you want it to be like. Then you can even tell it by let's say by bar charts. Okay, not America. Then you can tell it by bar charts, something like that. So just depending on what you want to do. So I've asked it, just give me the highest literacy rate and it's a life expectancy. And it's telling me that North America has the highest. Depending on how you want to work with it, visualization gives you better opportunity to analyze your work, your reports. I'm going to show you some of them, but for now, let us go back. I want everybody to have this data set ready. 
I want everything to be done, then before we go for our dashboard competition. Okay, so you, okay, so you two, we have the same thing. Okay, it's helping you to do it. So let us do it together. Everybody go to Power Query. You are going to see edit queries or transform data. If you are using the new JWagon, it's transform data. If you are using, <laughs> go to edit queries. So let, me, let us just help each other and do it. Yeah, transform data. Yours is edit queries. Edit queries. Click edit queries. Edit queries. Edit queries. Are you there? So please let me know who I am focusing. I know some people already have it done. I want to know who I am working with. He's there. He's on, you have it on your system already. Poverty is there. So let me come. Uh -huh. I'm coming. Okay, it's called October 9th. Yeah. Ah, that's that poverty. No, that is one we use for October. Okay. Yeah, that is why it's written there of October 19th, yes. Yeah. That one we use. So for those, for poverty, you want to change? Okay, so I'm coming, yeah. So when it loads, just know. Do you see literacy there? So you see literacy. Exactly. School something completion. Yeah, literacy. Yeah, let's do it together. Yeah, let's do it together. We're doing it together. You can connect to yourself, don't worry. You validated it from the online now. How did you get this? I you copied it in a flash. Do you? Yeah, exactly. So I want everybody to follow me. Uh, that you want to do now. Uh, move this. You brought it in, Abby. No, remove it. Remove it. Right click and delete. So, everybody, for those who, was, who is following me, so let's do it. So, do you see Sauce here? Everybody, everybody, I'm clicking population. Population first. Then I go to source. Then I click the source again. You just have something like this. Click edit queries. Edit queries. Population. Source. No, the, the, this one. Yeah. Okay. Do you have some? So you have browse. Click browse. Now, if you click browse, since you are doing population, do you see population total? Click it. Do you cl then click open? Then click OK. Are you doing it? OK. Mm -hmm. So now click rename, rename columns. So you get the, why is, why is it slow? So click. So you go to live expectancy, you do live expectancy. When you get to income, say income, income per person, you still do click on income per person. When you get to poverty, poverty is called October 19. That we use in October. It's called October 19. October 19. You see it as October 19. Poverty. Literacy. You are going to see literacy as primary completion rate November. That is what we use for literacy. Now, when you've done all of them, your fact file will automatically work. I, I need to rename the color. No, you don't need to rename anymore. So just click live expectancy. Yeah, and do the same thing. So live expectancy, you should pick live expectancy, yes. Source and go like that. Do it like that. Yeah, browse. Live expectancy, yes, that one. Then click open. So you still having challenges. Let us do. So you are good? OK. So which one? Literacy, yeah, primary school, primary completion, yes, November. Yes. Yeah, have you done yours, sir? Uh, it's 
Okay. Income is saved with income per person GDP. You are good, sir. Okay. You are good now. You are good. Okay. So which one is that? This no, this no, no, no. Leave this one. Okay, I'll do one. So, cancel. Do, fa do poverty. So do poverty. Poverty is October 19. October 19. Yeah. Yeah, click, yes. The last one, just click the last step. The literacy. Yeah, then. So, um, literacy is primary school, yes. Primary completion rate, yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, then the other columns. So, who is still having issues? Is everybody settled? So this one, countries and continents. So you can apply and go back to Power BI. Yeah, country of the world. Countries of the world, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, so now for everybody, let me just say something here before I now go to this fact file is a combination of one, two, three, four, five. And how did we do it? Can you see what we call appended queries? The source here, yeah, if I click on this source, this is what we did here. So we just said tables to append, and we just what appended every everything. So even mine is not even stick on. So now this poverty now. Oh, is everybody? Oh, cool. Okay, so nice. So everybody click fact file. Fact file. Click fact file. Click fact file. Are you there? Click source. Okay, so now, remember we said that fact file grows every time, Abi? And we're trying to look at different indicators all over the world to analyze the world generally. Now, we we'll look at the population of the world. We we'll look at the life expectancy. I will look like at income. We are looking at poverty. I will look at literacy. We want to analyze the world with these five indicators. Now, we now say instead of going to Power BI with different tables, they are actually looking the same, the same columns. All of them, if you notice, if you are choosing them one by one, you know that they have the same column, the same strategy, the same way it's being set. Why can't you just add all of them together and it becomes one file? So the fact file is a combination of these five indicators that we're using to analyze the word. So now, when we click on this fact file and you click source and you click this round setting, if you click it, You will notice that the tables that were append were actually three indicators. We didn't append poverty and literacy. So what we want to do is now to add poverty and literacy. And you, 
to become a fact file. Remember that we said that merge query is whether you are trying to merge to the right. Append means you are merging to the what? Down, where? So it's going down. So one is going to the right, one is going down. So now, population literacy income is already inside the year. So now what we want to do is we want to add these two to come what? Year. Then it becomes together. Did you get what we want to do now? OK. So now, first of all, just pick, go to poverty, click it. Click poverty. Have you clicked poverty? Then click add. Click add. Then do the same thing for literacy. Click literacy. Click add. Then click OK. Are you there? Then now it means now that we can now analyze all of them for this analytics now. We can now analyze all of them. So click close and what? Apply. Everybody? Close and apply. Yeah. This is to show you. Yeah. The country, yeah. This is the con new country. So I can delete it. Yeah, you can delete it if you don't want to. But it doesn't, it doesn't affect your report. So there's a new column called column, which is tab. That's fine. You can check. Okay, let me check. Close and apply. My doesn't help. Okay, so I know why. This is it. Check one of your indicators. Eh? The name is called country. Instead of it should be called country names. Okay. Check. So everybody, if you know that you have something like that, make sure that all your population, life expectancy, income, poverty literacy, the name is country name. Notice, it is K sensitive, and the name you are using across must all be the same. So you are having an issue like that, you are going to note it that way. You're supposed to have... In countries and continents, it's and underscore. Okay, I've seen it. No, no. It's countries and continents. Countries and continents, yeah, that's underscore. This one? This, the first one, this, no, it shouldn't be this. Check again. Because this one, we did not match this. That is the one we literacy is on the Are you serious? No, see, come back. Wait. Everybody see, let me see. Let me show you. Let me show you. Wait, everybody see. Let me show you. There is no country and continent here. In the appendix. There is no country. So there's no way you are being the one that is making you have another color. So check. Literacy is a country. Exactly. So if literacy, check the literacy. If literacy is country, change it to country name. Check the literacy. Is it, the one, is, that, is it that one? Yes. Uh -huh. So now. Oh, uh -huh. So now, this is what you just do. Double click it. Double click the name. Then type country name. Country name. Country name, W and, and click enter. Then check your fact file. So yeah, my own is bringing error now. So my own, I will work with, on mine now. Yes. Mine is bringing error. It's not the message, it's August. So we are giving them the newest one. So he's, he's using August. It's so yeah. Exactly. I have to install the newest version. Okay. So we'll be able to do to change the source. Uh, source for each yeah, one. Yeah, for each one. Okay, the countries, you do countries for countries and continents. Yes. That one is right, okay, and yeah, it's fine. Okay. So what I'm trying to do here is um, create a sort of like line chart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to allow me for, for the years. For the year? Yeah, so okay. as I can actually see. Different years. Different years. Of what? 
of is it a population of what, what are you trying to what, different words for what? So what is the it indicator? It will affect this tense. It will affect them in various of what? Okay. So, so I need the word. Yeah. Or population. something. Or anything. Anything that you're trying to do. Just, do just pick one. one. So when you pick yeah, tick it, tick. Tick inside the box. Oh, it's touch. Oh, sorry. Tick. Uh huh. Then I don't know where you want you want to work with. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So. So you see drag. So you've seen the how many years? Wow. So, so you can be seen in that way. So it is 2000. No, if you, so if you click on this. Okay. So it's fine. It's fine. So now tick. So, so you're fine now. So you want to create anything now. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine now. So you just create your own analysis that you want to create. Okay, so you are go click plus. Okay, so you click. So anything I want to do, yeah, anything you want to do here, yeah. let's say you want to see countries by anything like that. So maybe the best thing you I want you to do is work with him. Okay. Whatever you see what he's doing, so you can learn from him. Okay. You get? So from the both of you, you just work as a team and it will be better. Hmm? Yeah, uh, no, no, no problem. So you share? <laughs> <Don't look at> <laughs> <laughs> I am learning now. <laughs> I do not be. <laughs> no, you yeah, no, yeah, it's cool. What can I do to you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that is a team. Is it team? Yeah. I was thinking maybe okay. map map right. I feel like they don't have like there is no longitude and latitude and I don't want to go with it. Okay, 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 okay. So but you can say like, maps work now. I, okay, one of mine is to map. So it depends on how you want to work. I think it's one of it is. Let me check. The game is connected to the internet. There's one page here that is marked. Okay. Yeah, you can still use map. Still use map. But this is okay. Just because of what you're trying to explain. So this one I'm saying that by population, trying to see population by average in Africa, trying to see the different continents, analyzing different continents. So if I pick this, I can pick Europe and analyze what Europe is doing. Yeah, it's fine. So, so you have to on how many things you want to try to analyze. Yeah. So you can just create something that has to do with countries. Yeah, that's the countries here. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just see something that has to do with countries. Have you seen it? The MTN that you're looking for? I drink a couple Nigeria. Are you come? Okay, I'm coming. Yeah, what is the question? So you want to do with SAP that when we click on something, it's going to affect the all around slicer. Yes. Uh, no, I'm coming. <laughs> what are you looking at in the slicer? And so, what did you want to analyze? You want to analyze, like you said, you want to analyze country population. So, countries, so put all countries here. So, when you click on the countries, the countries will affect all these ones. So, pick. So let us just pick one person here. Exactly. So it's showing. So you will show what Afghanistan is doing here, what it's doing here. So but it's not showing the price, so I can't even understand this. You can't understand this. Yeah, you can't understand. So make me understand. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. 
Okay. 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 Did it open now? It has opened now. Is this what we have done? See, this is what we did. Now this is the new one, but it's still showing me a change. Uh, the big jump. Yes, now. You are sure? Okay, so let me, let me take it back. Okay, so you see that it will work now. Don't worry, it will work. Don't worry. Everything I will make, where is this? This is here where you see it. So, so have to tick, 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 and we start. Okay. Closing that and yes. Click OK. You have been saying that you need to restart. So, closing and going to restart it again. Yes. That, yeah. Just open this again. It will not open though. Eh. Because there are two. Uh, so now they are not too far behind. Oh, okay. So, so we are trying to open the old one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but just to check so that you open it. Go back and do that one again. Do it just the hair. The one that has blue. Is it this one? Yes. This one. Yeah. Uh, so what I've said that when I now check it, it will show me all the ones that we are attending. You see, uh, let, let us see, let us check. It's because of your own data. A lot of people have been telling stories. Are you serious? A lot of people have been working down. I asked them his house. Okay, let's see. Are you saying? Okay. Are you saying that we are strange now? So, let me just go here. Open. Open this. So, just click this. You know how you change your source now? Yes. Uh -huh, so, click. I'll do that one again. Ah. It's not, 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 this is what I was talking to David just now. I understand that I'm learning things about extraction, analysis, visualization, and predictive analysis. Yeah, right. so, yeah, okay. So I don't even know they are integrated. They've integrated everything. So this is your, it's working now. So but let me see at your fact file. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, the fact of them is there. Yeah. So your own is fine. Shh. It's 
try and do what you want. Okay. So go to this. It's fine. But we have one way of seeing the poverty. Is that where it's indicated? That's what they call indicator name now. You've not brought in the So let's assume you want to close. Yeah. 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 Wait for it. Okay, what's up? Okay. So we have our data. We are making them. We want to invite. For USA. For USA, United States, Brown, Brown, Brown. Why is it showing Brown? To try UK. Why is it USA showing Brown? I don't have data for USA. Well, maybe, I don't know, but USA can't. So let me see something. So we're trying to tell the story, so we talk, right? Mm. No. Yeah. Me seeing your data. No. 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 Me seeing your data. That, that number we're having there is good. Uh, I can't say that. You don't actually know now. Nice. But it's the same data I was using. So. You can use our own. It's not good. You do get by seeing the data that you understand. So we can just click and we understand what it is. You know that you should know it. I always think I put your data for it. No, so, you would have had the background knowledge of yeah. this thing. So, this guy is correct now. So, or oh, maybe we see OOT is not giving us any information. Oh. Mm, so, yes, sir. Yeah, for you, it's, uh, it's not giving. Maybe it's not giving. So, you can just move. Did you connect it to the internet? Oh, it's done. It's a cast work. Yeah. Who's going to the internet to work? Who's yeah, going to the internet to go? No, they are asking for map. So on it's connected to the internet. You are connected to the what yeah, did you call it for. a bula? David. Okay, so he's internet. Yeah. So just use it as a slice. So just like now. Uh, so let's do that. I may do away with this because this okay. one tells the story. Okay. 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 okay, so you can come here and put slice. Uh, Jogging. 
Yeah, you can ask it. See, it doesn't make sense for you to have a job down. So let me see job down. Can you see it all? So when you now pick, you can just pick 1807. Everything should talk to 1807. You understand? So everything will now talk to. There's a. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I should come. What if I want to hard music at you? As in music. I thought this one was, this one is um, when you're recording it. Okay. There's video software that we use that we just add video to it. Snag it or all those things that we use. And what about if you find a lot of hard color? See how they like. You want to beautify a page. When is that going to be sent? Is it recent? Is it December? I just, I did it now. Now? Yes. Uh, okay. Everything. Let me see. Okay, December. So let me repeat for this. So let me. So I'm trying to save it because you still close it now. Okay. So tick all of them. Then you now close. Open again. Good morning. Abi, good afternoon. Good night. <laughs> good night. Good night. <laughs> okay. So, is, is your sister going to the uh, internet? Okay, so let's go to Power BI user group logos to download the exercise file. You see December exercise file. So, that your Power BI user group logos. Just enter, just enter. You give it. So you just use that to. So when you get that, you just use that one to. So let me just look. Yeah. Well, but you can work as a team. You can work with somebody as a team. And but I don't want to drag people back. No, no, no. You just look at what they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, we were close already. Okay. Yeah, because we started since nine. Oh. Okay. Since nine. I just started. Of things to do. Okay. So we started since nine. Sorry, what's the name? David. Oh, okay. So mm. financial modeling. Okay, so you can talk to him, David. David Brown. Okay, that is the one, the fair one. Okay, my friend used to work here. Oh, I bet. Oh, okay, okay. This is my boss. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just look. I'm going to 
Format, format, yes, the middle. So you're going to see animation settings. Uh, so type. So put that, let's say 5,000. So 5,000 would increase the pace. Yeah, make it faster. Depending on how you want it to be. How is it going? Yeah, it's going on. So we are just trying to like draw a data. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what can you use line line chart? Line chart should give it to you. Okay. No, go back. Where's the visualization that we're seeing? And you delete it. Okay. So I need the years here, not the countries. So this one will be year. Yeah. So year versus is it income you want to look at or life expectancy? Like okay. So now it won't make sense because income is money. Life expectancy is decimal number. I know you noticed. Very is decimal income. So the prices will there has to be a percentage level. Ah, I mean, that is advanced tax. Uh, yes, I can't really explain it, but what uh, let me pick the one that is easy for you to uh, so let's assume that I want to just explain one of it. Huh? So now there's this place called analytics. This place, yeah, so you need the one that you this way you can do you want to say um your 2030 or you want to explain by 2030. Uh, uh, okay so to be like i'm giving you the answers but these are the answers are. so just <laughs> let me see what this is this is that i will do part this one you can use it for predictive analysis because that's what we wanted to do what would be in 2030 so look at this analytic part this is where people don't touch but this is where the money is itself this visualization let me show you this visualization uh, okay, forecasting. This. This is where, this is where we did it. We come here. You notice we use here. This is what we want to do. See it. We did a forecasting here in these two years. What will they happen here? This forecasting. So we went to this and we did a trend line. Is it trend line we picked? Okay, see what we picked here. Forecasting one. We went to forecast and we forecast the years together. So look at this visualization. You use it to create your game. You get it? We are done Okay. Twenty eight. They just pick here and pick twenty eight. Mm -hmm. 
No, I shall slice it now. When you slice this, it will affect all this. You don't need to connect. So if I go down, if I scroll down now, the last one is there. So let me do 2017. Have you seen it? He's not talking for 2017, but there's no more for this one. We are for this. Have you gotten it now? So the data is supposed to come in. I don't know. So now he has everything. Have you seen it now? You are the one. You are the one coming in now. Yeah, complete. So take, take. Hmm? I want to give you this. Okay, so, well, hold on, just press the Yeah, hold on. This is the first time I have a hand Yeah, this is. So, are we assessing people? Yeah, yeah. yeah so you Or they should do it themselves? I think, I think. Or they should do gallery work. I think it's gallery work. Gallery work, and probably. As in, but how will we do that? Huh? It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Not uh, there's a price for the... There's a price for the... The dash unit. There is? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, two hours plus. That is the table calendar. Okay, okay. The table calendar. For everybody else. No, not for the table calendar. Okay, should the table calendar. There's something different for the winner. Yeah. So, let me ask a couple of people. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. So what is the what should we do? I don't know. And encourage. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see. Can you confirm if the sound is working? Okay, everybody. Thank you. So we're pausing now. We're going to pause. We're going to pause. So it's. The thing is, we need to be very objective when we're assessing each other's performance, right? <laughs> so what I can do is, uh, I can see the visualization pane and the fill pane open, minimize it, try and make your dashboard as big as possible, right? So minimize your visualization pane and your field pane. So you know how to, that arrow, that small arrow to the top right, click, and then click field. Anyone using December, if you're using December, you can even minimize the filter. Right? You can even eliminate the filter, right? Or something like that. That's what they added. Didn't they add that? I think that's what they added in December. If you go to view, there's supposed to be filter. Uh, oh no, this is not December, right? Yeah, oh. No, it is, it is. Is it? Yeah. December. December. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, December update. Update, yes. Ah, okay. No, not looking. That's not looking like December update. Uh, uh, okay. I don't think so. No, I don't think so, too. Uh, where is filter? Who has found that filter? button to minimize the filter. I should use the server. Do you, do you know how to check what version you have? If you go to uh, file, then you go to uh, help, then you see about. There's supposed to be about there and help. Can you go to, can you go to file about to check what version you have? Ah. I see. What's going on? Snap, grid, show. Okay. Ah, they want to hide the thing. Let me click it. Okay. Anyway, minimize. This always comes up. Yeah, I would find it. Block, ah, block, block, block. So you have a story, right? Can you tear for tear a piece of paper off your um, notepad, right? Tear a piece of paper out. Write the name of your story that's on your dashboard at the top. Whatever story you are trying to tell. Okay. Write it at the top of your paper. Hmm? <laughs> so clean paper, clean paper, take clean paper out. Write the name of your story at the top. Right? <laughs> Are you there? Okay. Write the name of the story very clearly that you are trying to tell. Yes? Have we done that? Please write it very clearly so anybody can read it. Write the name of the story you are trying to tell. Are we there? 
Oh, you don't know the story you're trying to tell. <laughs> just, just write the name of the story that you are trying to tell. Hmm? Hmm. Interesting. Hey. Let me see. Let's see. This is. Let me play. It's interesting. If you have any instructions for how the person is supposed to use the stuff, you can write it there too, because I see some complex stuff need instructions. Yes? Okay? <laughs> yeah, interesting. Okay, have you done that? Have you done that? So once you've done that, please put that paper on your laptop. So that paper, put it on your laptop. So you need to prepare this thing as well as you can to tell your story. So minimize as much as you can. See, minimize this, minimize this, right? Minimize this, so you get the full real estate. So put your story there. Now put your paper on, on your laptop, and then I want everyone to stand up. So put your paper on your laptop and then stand up. Right, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up. Push your chair back in. Your chair, put it, put it in fully, because you're going to move your chair in. So everybody should stand up, write your story, put it on the paper. Put the paper on the laptop where your story is supposed to be told. All right. You just put it there. Say a blank story. <laughs> Something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so put it there. Are we there? Great. So are we there? Everybody should be up. Everybody should up. Push your chairs in. Push all your chairs in. Push all your chairs in. That's, push the chairs in because we're going to go around a bit. Great. So, everybody has only 10 seconds now. What is going to happen is this. They're just going to go clockwise. 10 seconds, you look, you write a score over 10. Please don't be influenced. No, no, no. Don't be, try not to be influenced by what you see written there. Just look. Don't look at the paper first. Look up. Look up. Look up. Look up. See the rules. Look at the screen. Oh, sorry. What's the story this guy is trying to tell? Mm. Five points, two points, one point, ten points. So just write the score, okay? Over what? Over, over ten. Over ten. Try not to be influenced by the score already there, okay? So we're just going to go around, and you should do less than less than ten seconds. I'll say move, 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 you move. So look at the story now. One thing, can't you can't assess yourself? All right. So you can't assess yourself. So let's let's so let's go. How are we going to move? Hello, guys. Since we have very. We're going to move, sorry, look up, look up, look up, hello guys, hello guys, hello, hello, look up, look up, how are we going to do it? It's a little bit difficult with, with this interesting group here. This interesting group in the middle is going to be a bit difficult. So let's see hmm, how we're going to do this. The group on the outer ring, the group on the outer ring, we are just going to, hello guys, the group on the outer ring, I need instructions, uh, the group, group on the outer ring, hello, the group on the outer ring, they are not assessing this group. Okay? You are only assessing the outer ring. I'm going to go around. This group, you're going to go around on this, your outer ring only. So one, how many laptops here? One, two, are you serious? Only four. Wait, how many? Um, three laptops. Oh, yeah, bring it here, bring it here. Transfer, come and transfer. Bring your laptop here. Bring your laptop here. This laptop, bring it here. Let me move, sorry, I'll move it to one side. Here, here. And then bring this one here, bring it here. Bring this one here, bring it here. Uh -huh. So you can have a way to travel. You can bring it here. Yeah, it's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we're going to go around fully. What happened? Ha! Who, which kind of, uh, what happened? Oh no. We'll just give you five. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's go around. Go to the next set. Go to wherever you are. We're going clockwise. Assess right over 10. Take a barrel with you. Take a barrel with you. Take a barrel with you. No ask questions. Don't ask questions. Let's go around. So we're going clockwise. Assess, and then we, I'll tell you when to move. Clockwise, 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 clockwise. Wherever you are sitting, go to the next person to your left. Somebody should have been here. Who was here? So come here. So assess. 
Look at it, assess and write. Just assess. Oh, this is no, 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 no. Thanks, I'm sorry. So assess. Uh, oh, you are in a group. You are in a group. Who is here? Who is here? This guy. He should be here. So whoever was here, who is this person? Uh, come, come. Assess these people. Just over ten. Just write. When you look at it, see the story. Does it tell the story? Write over ten and move. So write over ten and then move. Write over ten. Look at the story they were trying to tell and assess them over ten. Be very objective. Be very objective. And then move around. Okay, move, move. Shouldn't be more than 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Write it very clearly over 10. Just write. Just write somewhere over 10. Okay, that's good. You don't need to put five. Okay, assess. And then move. Assess and move. Assess and move. So, so don't, don't write. Just write something, a number somewhere there. Go round, go round, go round. Okay? Why are all of you there? I don't understand. What's happening there? Go around, go around, go around, go around. Go around. Clockwise, clockwise. Is it too impressive? Yes. Okay, just, just give me the score. Give me the score and go around. Give me the score and go around. Give me the score and go around. Write a score, go around. Write a score, go around. Write a score and go around. Write a score and go around. You see the winning group. There's a prize for the winning group, so or winning team, whoever or individual. Write a score and go around. Ah, this person was conserving paper. I sent a full sheet of paper. Anyway, <laughs> okay. Write a score, go around. <laughs> Please write a score, go around. Don't waste too much time. Write and go around. That, I need to go and see what's happening there. Uh, go around, go around, go around, go around. Please assess everybody except yourself. <laughs> assess everybody except yourself. <laughs> Don't be influenced. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 go around, go around, go around, assess, assess. <laughs> what happened now? Hey, hey, sorry. Go around, go around, go around, go around, go around. Make sure you assess everybody. Go around, go around, write the score, write the score, and go around. Write the score, write the score. Don't make him move to the score. Go around, I think this one had instructions somewhere here. I think we, we need to play it or something. Wait, wait, wait let me see. Let me help this person. Yeah, there's a play axis. Mm. So, so those that go around, go around, assess, be very objective, bro. very objective, be very objective. Go around, go around, go around, go around. Have you assessed this guy? Oh, this is yours? Okay, go around, go around. <laughs> so have you already assessed everybody? So if, if you've assessed everybody, you can go and sit down, go back to your seat. If you've assessed, you've assessed everybody? Yes. Wow, everybody, okay. Which was your favorite? Which was your favorite? One person there. Ah, one where? Okay. Okay, so go around. If you're finished assessing, sit down. So um, they will compile it themselves. They will. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Then we'll see the person. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think everybody has assessed. You can go back. I I don't know why, but plenty of people are aggregating here, and plenty of people are aggregating there. Something's up. Something's happening. Something's happening somewhere here. Yes, yes. I think. <laughs> okay. Let's get back to our seats. Let's get back to our seats, guys. Let's quickly get back to our seats. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a flash? Are you saving everybody's own? No. Okay. Okay. No need. No need. Let me. Are you using Wi-Fi? Ah, you don't have this. My laptop that would have automatically shown on the screen. Yeah. It's, no. Don't worry. Okay.
Uh, okay. Uh, hmm? On the group, huh? Okay. Yeah, it is a picture. If you can take a picture. Okay. Hmm? Uh, you know what? My bag is in my. Let me get my bag. Okay, everybody sit. Let's everybody sit down. Let's see. Okay, so can we all sit down? Can we sit down? Let's all sit down. All right. Great. So we're not going to audit. Audit. Small audits. Can we sit down, guys? Let's sit down. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. Back to your seats. Back to your seats. Back to your seats. Great. Back to your seats. This is what we're going to do. Hey, it's highly unfortunate. Yeah. A, audit has finished. Hello, guys. So let's back, get back to your seats. See what we're going to do. See what we're going to do. Please exchange your paper with the person to your left. And if you are the last person on the left, exchange to the right. Person, you find somebody to exchange. Exchange your paper. You have to exchange your paper, person to your left. It's okay. You have to exchange. And if you don't have someone to exchange, let me know. Yes. Exchange. Okay, you can exchange again. It doesn't matter. So, is this yours? Is this yours? Okay, that's fine. Is this yours? Is this your paper? Is this your paper? Is this your paper? Okay, great. So everybody should have somebody else's paper. Okay, so what did just count? Count and give me the total score. What, not the total score, the average score. Give me the total score, we divide by the number of scores. Uh, yeah, so it's mathematics, just try. Please be very objective in your audits. Is this your paper? Is this your paper? If it's your paper, you should go very far. Aha, very good. So audits, do small audits, small audits. Small audits, please, while I come back and quickly get something. If somebody do point something, then divide by the number, right? Yes. Average. Just give me the exact average. Oh, yeah, yeah, calculator, obviously. So write that exact average out, and let me see who. What is it? This one. This one. Yeah. Okay. So let me see if I can connect to our office Wi-Fi. I'll use my phone. Next. Okay. Can we take it round just to finish the video? What? Our staff is all again. Uh, sorry, sorry. It's society unfortunate. What can we do? Yes, people from the village, I know. Sorry, sorry. It is sorry. Um, so, you have our scores. Does everybody have the scores now? Yeah. Excellent. So, let's just see who is winning. Hold on. How do you know the winner? It was clear. Was it very clear? Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, I connect it. Now, where's the bar? Where's the bar? Only up. So it has to be on the same network for this thing to work. Mm. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get some small technology to work so we can see the winning person. Um, F2L734. Okay, great. Okay, so do I extend the screen? All right, so now. Small technology, great. So, camera, action. Um, no, turn now, turn now. Why is this not turning? Turn, turn, turn. 
Ah, okay. Okay. Are you turning? This guy doesn't want to turn. Are you turning? Anyway, we can see it anyway. So this is one visual. I don't know who is this. Who is this group? Oh. What did you call it? What did you call your group? Um, I hope you have the scores written down somewhere. Yes. What's it called? Average life expectancy. Is that what this group was called? Yes. Is that what your group was called? Yes. Okay. What, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so how, how, um, what was the score? 6.8. 6.8. Okay, so let's take a note. So we can give them back their paper. 6.8. Okay, 6.8. Uh, what's this group? What's this group called? What's your group called? This is checking average income by literacy. Checking average income by? And literacy across continents. Okay. Average literacy. Who has that? Who had that? Who, who was assessing that? I think uh, this is it. Okay, 4.2. So well done, well done, but 6.8 6 is what to beat. 6.8, so what did you get? Do you know what you got? Please. Who was assessing this? What was it called? Life expectancy by? 4.5. 4.5, well done, give them a hand, give them a hand, 4.2, 4.5, not bad, it's not easy. It's not easy, 6.8 is, 6.8, right? That's what to beat. Oh, oh sorry, not me, as in, not, yeah, okay, okay. So, what is this one? I don't know. What is this? This is <laughs> sustainability goals or something. What? Okay. Wait, let, let's try and make the guy a bit bigger. Meeting SDG goals. Which is the average. Uh, I think if I take a picture of it to be better, let me see. Meeting SDG goals. So maybe if I check, sorry, let's take a picture. The picture should now show better. Does it? This guy, is, this guy is not very smart. It's not very smart. 5.25. 5.25? Huh, very well, good. So do the ranking. Is someone writing? Can be writing the scores. So 5.25, maybe on the big screen. 6.8. 6.8 is still to beat. Well done, well done. Okay, give, uh, give them a hand now. How many people did this? Only one person. Ah, on your own. Nobody did group work. Okay, look at this one. This is uh, what? Average income. Uh, average country name and the average oh, oh, the name of the group was oh you have your score back yes. 5.31 yes. not bad average income country name lots of dots everywhere here what is this what is this about what, what is this life average life expectancy yes. in each country the bigger the bubble the more life expectancy yes why is africa so sparse Okay, we have plenty countries scattered around. Anyway, okay, very good. This is the only female in our group. Can we give her a double hand, double hand, double, double, double? And you got 5.31. Nice. And then this was, you have a play axis. Can you play? Yeah. Do you guys know about the play axis? Yeah. This is very, very useful. It plays a story. So to tell a story, if you have a play axis, then it's telling a story based on time. So if you have years, just use put years in the play axis. Right now, it's not telling any story. Because in those years, I think they are blank. Oh, those years are very, very far away, far yeah. apart, right? Yeah. So if you look at the years here, see? So I've been trying to see ah. how I can range it. Possibly okay, so he's trying to see if he can, he can range it by decade. Did, did anybody crack that code? Ranging by decade, anybody? So that group did it ranging by decade. So they will tell us how they did it. Yeah, okay. Because right now nobody was alive in that time. What did you get? What did you get? What did I get? What did this group get, please? What did this group get? Um, what did I get? Three point eight. Ah, this is so unfair. It's so unfair. Ah. But give me a hand now. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. That's nice. Uh -huh. I'm the same group. Uh, the same group. Yeah. Oh, you didn't assess this. I didn't. Yeah, no. I But you don't want me to show it. Okay. Uh, somebody was in two groups. Okay. Please look up another one here. What is this? Can you tell us what this is? It's um, literacy by continent. So hello guys, look up. See literacy by continent. What did we score this? What is the score? Five. Five. Very simple for five. Very, very simple. You know why people like pies and stuff? Because they like food. 
<laughs> it reminds them of food, anything pie. Well, very nice, very nice, pie, that's good, very nice, well done. And uh, this group, so this group is doing another visual. Let's have a look at this group. So this group has... 6.6. So let's look, this group got what? 6.6, okay, 6.6. Can we listen, look up guys, look up at the screen. So it's changing by 10 years, try to know that, okay, because you have the highest income doesn't that you have the highest population. So if we actually see the first one, China actually has the um, highest population, but in terms of income, they are low. So it's changing over time, in the next, by 10 years. So they, they, what they did is they were changing by decade, which another group said they wanted. So they're changing by decade. How do you change by decade? Can you tell me? Uh, so on the data modeling? Please listen. So if you want to change your date, so it's we show decade by decade. OK, so can you tell us? All right. So you go to your data. Mm -hmm. You want to click on open start from here. You go to data here. Click on date column. Click on date column. So you bring the calendar. So you bring the calendar in. Uh -huh. Then you create another hard column. So new column. New column rather. Okay, new column, uh -huh. So when you click on new column, you create date equal to round down, which is this. Create again, let's type it, let's see. So, so we want to create, okay, so okay, clo uh, close or something. Okay. Date equal to round down. Date again. So you come to date, date here. You click comma minus one. Okay, so explain this formula, please. So what is doing there is this. You know how you round a number. Let's say a number is 200.5. If you round, it will round it up to 201. So if you say 200.7, it will round it to 201. 200.4, it will be 200. But if you say 211, and you say round to minus one, Instead of rounding the decimal now, it's rounding the tens. So 211, if you say round down, it will now be 210. If you say minus 2, then it's rounding the hundreds. So 211 minus 2 will now become 200. I don't know if you get me. So most people round the decimals, but you can also round the tens. You can round the hundreds and thousands. So all he's doing here is this. He's rounding the year down minus one, which means tens, which means it just showed 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 years. Okay? Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, what did you get? What score? 6.8. 6. 6. 6. 6.8. Okay, anybody beating 6.8? 6.8. 6.8. What group was this? Um, yes. Life, life expectancy for Africa for yes. Life expectancy for Africa for Okay, what did you get? 4.45. 4.45. Not bad. Well done. Well done. Can you give them a hand, please? All the so far, so far. This is looking very colorful. What's this about, please? How literacy level at, uh, affects the life expectancy? Well, oh, literacy affects. So if you, have, if you don't go to school, you die. Interesting. Did you see a trend? So interesting. What did you score? Five one three six. This is interesting analysis. Thank you. Five one three six. Well done. Well done. Well done. Who is next? Okay. Who is next? Who is next? Just assess us. I shall assess. Okay. Hold on. So, can you assess? Can you guys shout out an average score for this, please? <laughs> over ten. Over ten. Four. No, I think it's too much. Give me seven. Give me seven. Give me seven. Four. Okay, you say four. What are you trying to do here? I'm trying to, okay, you said the impact of population. Population on average income and literacy rates. Impact of population on average income and literacy rates. Okay, not bad, not bad. No other group here. Uh, we're coming back. Who was the last group here to show? Okay. Try, when you are showing your, uh, 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 this one is complex, man, wow. Look at this, hold on guys, look at this. But, uh, uh, I don't understand, what's called this? Look at this, hey, everybody please look up. See this analysis here. Let me just zoom into one side. What, what is this about, please? What's this whole thing about? So this is trying to show a decomposition of... Um, Can we listen? It's trying to show a decomposition of 
Yes. Of what? Of the different um, indicators by the countries and then the continent based on any one, any of the indicators. So it might be life expectancy. Okay. Let me see. I need to see why this thing is not working so I can show this well. Then, key thing. Hold on one second. Start. Doing the line. Okay, can you turn? Okay. Aha, uh -huh, better. So look at this, guys. Hello, can we look at this? So the, the visual you used was decomposition tree, isn't it? Yes. So this is a new AI visual. And then, can you explain? Because it's looking interesting. So this is showing um, the composition of um, the various indicators as it affects the countries and then the continent. Okay. So if I want to see by um, please look up, guys. the average income, I can see how each of them decomposes into um, the, um, the various continents and then the countries. So I can select for each of the uh, country to see um, a, a downline or to a downline to um, any of the indicators I select. So, so you use one. This is the first one is a decomposition tree, is a AI visual. The second one is also an AI visual, which basically segments. What's the second one? What's it trying to do? Is influencer visual? Yes, influencer. Yes. So I'm just trying to see what. Um, how does this impact on? Guys, let's listen, please. So I'm trying to see how does um, the, population. the population or the income or the literacy, how does it impact on uh, maybe the continent and as such. So if I have an increase uh, in poverty, what does that tell me about the continent or mm. and so? So that's why I try to um, analyze it. Good, and then this is also part of the exactly. visual itself. Yes. So interesting, you use AI here. Can we give a hand? What was your score? What was your score? Four point four. Four point four. Hey, hey. Four point four. Okay, okay. Do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? I will explain why very soon. One simple sentence. So, guess what, guys? Can we give another hand? This is the winning group. This is the winning group. Yeah. Oh, this is the winning group. So this is the winning group. They got 6.8 points based on popular votes. And for the winning group, who is the who are the group? Who is in the group? I join your group. <laughs> so so the winning group basically wins $100 worth of courses on our e-platform. $100 worth of courses. You can that's office training hub. You need to claim it within a month. Yes and uh, yes. So that's yes $100 worth of courses online. No, that's the winning group. That's him. That's him. So well done. Well done. But but uh, yeah, this looks very interesting though. But the issue is this: visuals, right? You need to basically explain to people they have to understand the visual. There's this guy. I'm going to give you some names. You should go and get their books. There's one number one guy worldwide in visualization. His name is Edward Tufte. Edward Tufte. Yeah, Edward T U F T. I'll write it down. T U F T E. So most top people in visualization have learned from him. Right? So, okay. Um, oh, you're not anywhere. Okay. So, this guy, Edward, Edward Tofte. Yeah? So, you could go check him out. But he said something. He said, the greatest visual, the best visual is that which gives to the viewer the greatest number of ideas in the least space, with the shortest time, with the least ink. So that which gives to the viewer the greatest number of ideas in the least space, shortest time, and the least ink. So when you look at it, you are seeing ink. When you have ink, you have red, yellow, blue, green. It's just too confusing. Yeah. So if you look at the visual, like, ah, why is the candle lower than this? Why is it all sorts of ideas that's coming in your head? Because that visual was very good. So that's the visualization that's best. That would give to the viewer the greatest number of ideas in the least space with the least time spent, right? and the least ink used. That's the best visual. So another name I'll give you, this guy is good in general visualization, but most of us are doing visualization for business. So one other guy, very cool, we always talk about him, is Stephen Few. Right? Stephen Few, he's very cool in visualization for business. But then there's one other site, this lady is coming up very, very fast, and I recommend her book. Her book is Storytelling with Data. 
try and get the book, Storytelling with Data, but she has a newsletter where people do competitions like this nearly every month, and then they read the visuals and stuff, and you learn a lot about visualization. So get her, get her book, Storytelling with Data. She has a practice book out which she brought a month ago or something like that. Just practice on, on that. And just check her out, Storytelling with Data. Her name is Cole. I never able to pronounce her surname, Nobosila, something, something. Anyway, Nobo, Naflik or something. But check, check Storytelling with Data, you see her, okay. right? So check that out. And visualization is key. No matter how wonderful your, visual, your analytics, your, your data scientists, your this, your that, if you can't visualize it, no one can make decisions. No one can make critical decisions. If you don't visualize it well, so when they're in a meeting, they're like, how, as in, ah, this is very surprising. As in, how was this done? How, then if they are making decisions with good visuals. So learn visualization is very good. Let me give you a big hand for David, David Abu anchored today. David Abu, yes, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, another big hand for Wally. Wally will show you all sorts of dashboards. I don't know where he is. Yes? Yeah. We, we have Ezekiel. Can I give a hand to Ezekiel? Lincoln, too. Lincoln was the guy with bearing gifts. <laughs> uh, and Emmanuel is just at the corner with the camera. Hi, Emmanuel. Hi, Emmanuel. Yes, yes, thanks. And uh, we have Tiwa. She's the one that organizes everything. All the emails you see. Where is Tiwa? Tiwa is, Tiwa is up there. Uh, we have Esther there. So we have quite a lot of teams. So welcome to our office. This is our office. You are free to come and ask questions. Don't go bombard, but you can come. I think you are free to come at any time. Yes? You can just walk in, and if, if they would have been a project, you may not listen to you, but you are free to come. It's like your home. So thanks, guys, and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. We gave you some small gifts. I hope you enjoyed the meetup. Yes? You appreciate it. That's good. Thank you. And also, uh, you know, this is the every third Saturday of the month. A big thank you to LBS as well, please. Let's give LBS a hand. LBS has a big hand. So uh, I think uh, you're the sole representative of LBS. <laughs> so LBS has graciously given us the venue to use. So what we're trying, our planning for next year is we're going to try and rotate as much as possible. So LBS, any other person giving us a venue, we'll be rotating. Maybe we have here. It's just too small, this place. But we envisage just having much more people next year. And uh, so we do, we mix it up a bit. Maybe we do small power apps. Maybe we split those small uh, power automates. Do you get? I uh, don't know. Maybe we throw those in. But main focus is Power BI. Really? Uh, and I don't know if all of you are members of the uh, Power BI user group. Are we all members? We're all members. Please, let's all be on the user group. And then, please, anything you think you can contribute, it's not only us that should present. I mean, I love that visual. That was wonderful. If you can contribute some, maybe one or two topics. Go online, talk about it. I would like to talk for 20 minutes on this. Let's all contribute to this meetup, yes? Uh, and thanks, for, thanks a lot, everybody. And thanks to D. Brown in general for everything. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yeah.